Hi everyone, today in front of me I have the ZTE Blade A31 smartphone and in this video we would like to show kind of a review of the best display settings that you can change on this device. So let's go ahead and open up the settings, display category and start. So first we have the brightness level bar which allows us to regulate the brightness level of our display as you can see right here. Next we are able to turn on or turn off the dark theme or ultimately switch off between dark and light modes of this device. So let me show you how the dark theme look like. There is also an opportunity to set some schedule for its automatic activation or automatic switch between light and dark modes. Next we have the night light. Wow. That once activated, as you can see, makes everything look warmer and prevents uh, the eye fatigue. So it does so by ultimately filtering out the blue light. So if you think that I, your eyes are very tired, we highly advise, we highly advise that you go ahead and enable the night light mode. You can also adjust and regulate the intensity of this effect or set some custom schedule for it. Next we have the wallpaper settings, very easy and basic stuff. It allows us to set the wallpapers for the lock screen, home screen or both either from the list of uh, default preset wallpapers or if we'll tap on this but, uh, button on the lower part of our display we will be also able to set the wallpaper from the any custom picture we have in our gallery. Next we have the screen timeout setting. Uh, this setting is responsible for the time after which, after obviously being in the idle status, our screen will turn off automatically. Let's go ahead and expand the advanced section. Uh, next we have the auto rotate screen switch, which once enabled will make sure that our display will change its layout from horizontal to portrait and vice versa accord in accordance with us physically rotating the phone. Next we have the phone size settings and as it is obvious from the uh, feature name, it allows us to regulate the font size to make it even either small, smaller or larger. Then we have the display size which is responsible for the size of visual elements that we have uh, present at the interface. Here you have the preview to see how everything will look like once you choose some certain size. All right, moving on to the next one, it's indicator light. Uh, it's this, well, LED light on the top left part of your phone. And here you can change some of the scenarios for it. For example, it will uh, indicate once the phone is charging, once the low battery, uh, once we have the low battery, once there is any incoming call or message notification, and all other notifications. And there is also an opportunity to set the schedule for the indicator light, or should I say, set the schedule for it not being displayed. Next, we have the screen saver. So it's the feature that at the set certain scenarios calls up for the screen saver option. As you can see, it will look like this. In our case, we can set the following scenarios. So while the phone is charging, while it's docked, while charging or docked or never. And the final setting that is out there is called lock screen and will allows us to configure some of the lock screen uh, features, for example, configure what notifications will be shown, either all of them or none of them. And there is also an opportunity to add some custom text to the lock screens. For example, I'll type in hard reset. And as you will see at the lock screen, this text will appear right here. Alrighty, so that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.